Hi guys, this is Jian. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make this lovely dahlia by using palette knife painting effect. First, I'm going to prepare my colors. In my previous video, I prepared the colors in the bowl and I mixed them all together. But in this video, I'm going to directly mix the colors on my buttercream. In this way, you can have more different color tones on each petals. First, I prepared my main color and second color is my darker tone color. I tried it to make it more toward to the cold pink, so I add a little bit of violet into burgundy. So now I'm done preparing my colors. Today I'm going to use this parchment paper as my cake top or it can be your side of your cake. In my previous video, I used this long palette knife but today I'm going to use this wider palette knife with a pointy tip. So I'm going to cover my parchment paper with this light blue color and then we'll start making the petals. Grab one of your wide palette knife with a pointy tip and gently scrape the top surface of your buttercream. If you continue scraping on one side, you'll get an extra buttercream piece on tip of your palette knife. Depending on that extra piece, the petal shape will look a little different. And also because of the dahlia's petal shape, I'm trying to add more buttercream on the bottom side of my palette knife. So I can have more volume on the bottom and a light petal on the tip part. And while you're making the petals, you can mix different colors by just scraping the lighter color on your palette knife. Now it's time to add some different colors on my petals. Just simply scrape the darker color tone and mix it on to the lighter color tone while you're scraping the buttercream. So if you want to have more natural looking petals, I recommend you to adjust the amount of the extra buttercream. You can simply um, change your angles by tilting it more toward down or up. Then the amount of the extra buttercream will be different each time. And always when you're pulling down your palette knife, make sure the handle is towards the center of your flower. And also scrape toward to the opposite side then you'll have the extra piece on your right side of your palette knife. And you can also have simple petals by just scraping from both sides of your palette knife.
while you're working and you have a lot of pedals underneath and when you have to overlap some pedals make your pedals a little thicker so you can lay it easily without ruining other flower petals so you can change your angle when you're laying down your petals then you'll have more playful petals Now I changed my palette knife to a smaller size and I'm going to add some smaller petals. I think I have enough petals so I'm going to finish up the center part. I used number one round tip from Wilton. I'm going to use this light yellow color. I picked up a small amount of buttercream and using an extra palette knife, I'm going to gently grab it and place it nearby the stamen. Also using the same technique, you can make a smaller size petals with two palette knife. If you're enjoying this video, please subscribe my channel. I'll come up with more tutorials. I also like to add some final touch around my flower so I'm using this green color to add some leaf painted effect and on top of the leaf I'm going to add some petals I'm going to also add some piping details with 59SL tip from Wilton. Add some yellow buttercream and pipe it around your middle details. This yellow detail is very little but once you add the small details, you will have more realistic dahlia on your cake. So I finished my dahlia with the matching background colors. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more tutorials, please subscribe my channel and like this video. I'll come up with more tutorials.